it off. He'll get it off comfortably uh, because of his size, strength, and ball handleability. So he would get it off comfortably. He doesn't shoot with the same accuracy as those other two guys, but he, he gets a better comfort level at times than those two guys. For me, active, if we're just trying to get a shot, shot clock's going down, it's Kyrie Irving. His ball handling ability to be able to get to any spot on the floor and get his shot off to your point, he's going to get his shot off. And he's one of the few point guards where there's a lot of point guards in the league and can shoot the three. Definitely guys that I probably would have picked, but if I'm going with someone with ice water in their veins, need a shot, I'm going with Dollar Dame, Dame Leonard, mm, a guy that like can that. create his own shot, yes. or you can put him in a high pick and roll, shoots with depth, can shoot deep, right. and if you foul him, he's going to make foul shots. Does the answer him. change for any of you if I say it's a catch and shoot three to win a game? Clay Thompson. Yeah. Catch and shoot, I would, I would, I would add Clay to a catch and shoot. Like, it, it swung back out to him. I would add Clay to that for sure. You know, it's funny, we were talking, James Harden. Ooh, yes, to I get mean, a bucket, yes. He could do, he could do, oh my goodness, he, yeah, he, to he get he a bucket, yeah. Shoot. I mean, we're right. not yeah, catching the dribble. Off the dribble, off the dribble, yeah. he's off the dribble no question he gets, about. The, he gets to walk and shoot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so he gets to, he gets to do the running, man. Yeah. 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 Right. I'll make it harder, let's go back in history. Any player who's ever played Ooh. to win a game with a three. Oh, we're sitting right here. Oh, you're picking. No, there's a lot of guys. No, no, I'm not, you could you could go last if you're not going to talk about yourself. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Larry Legend. No. Three? To a make three. a three. He said to make a three, right? To make a three. To make a three at the end of the game. Celtics have got three seconds, two, bird, a runner. It's good! I'm going with Larry Legend. I'm going with the guy sitting here, only because the moment for Larry is always the moment. For Reggie, he creates more moments, meaning... He's looking for an opportunity. I think at times you hope we get down through. Right? <laughs> you know, so there's a difference. Well, Larry's like, no, I'm not even going to let you get up. I'm going to beat you. He's waiting for that moment. And so for me, watching Reggie over the years, I would have to say Reggie would be the guy I would be. Like, Good looking, Ken. No, yeah. But and taking it a step further, with Larry, as much as we you know, love his shooting, he's not going to get open in that situation where you, and I'm going to throw Ray Allen into the mix, oh, yeah. both of you guys are going to get open because you're probably the best running without the basketball, running off screens and getting open. Now, now, I'm going to put Larry second, though. I wasn't like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny, Larry's third. Ray Allen's above him. Well, come on now. Those but Ray you know Allen and Reggie Miller, we, we need a three. Larry's not getting open. Uh, Him and Ray are getting open to get that three off. Rebound, box. Back out to Allen. His three-pointer. Bang! There's a guy that I would want to be in this mix because like, he's a leading three-point shooter in the history of playoffs over certain attempts. You know who that guy is, right? Kenny the Jets, man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> You may have already answered it, but if, if in a theoretical world where I could play and I had to choose one of the three of you to win a game with a uh -oh. three, I'm where am I my, going? We're all going to pick ourselves. That's yeah, how I, confident we are. I mean, in all of our careers that we've been, we've all hit game winners, we've all hit buzzer beaters, so we know mm -hmm. we can do it. So if you're asking openly, I want to, as much as I love both these guys, I want to take that shot first. I would honestly say that these guys are, were better three-point shooters in this regard, that that was such a big part of their diet. Mm -hmm. And for me, it, it became a part of my diet later on. But I had to learn to be that. It is Like Reggie Miller, we played at UCLA in, in Pauley Pavilion and in North Carolina. We were like, guard him from here. Mm -hmm. right. That didn't come into my life until about my fifth year, fourth year in the NBA. It was always part of Dennis Scott's repertoire, a steady part of that diet, the long ball shot. I was catching up with you all the time. Right. Now, I just still think I could shoot the ball. <laughs> <laughs> but I just know that you guys were, it was a better diet. We all had different strengths at different times. Sure. But at the end of a game, to a man, we're all going to say, put the ball in my hand. Yeah. Kenny wants those shots. Yeah. Yeah. He wants those yeah. shots. Yeah. One of the biggest moments. Moments. Yeah. We were actually in the biggest moments in Rocket and in Orlando That's basketball right. history. Hit a three-pointer to tie the game and send it to overtime right. in the right. NBA Finals. But before that, this dude, he regular, comes, regular, regular he comes right. back and hits another one. Back to back, yep. it was him and I.
You haven't made my job any easier. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, how about this? Who are you going to pick? Ooh, if, your you know, if your life ooh, depended on it and your family's life ooh, depended on it and they need you, they need a three ooh, to get them out. Open court, Matt. Come on, Keep Matt. Real, open court, I will Matt. answer the question. I've got bad news for you and my family. Well, I turned it over before I ever got oh, it. Oh, 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 it. Oh, I, it it I will tell you this. If you gave it to any of us, your family lives. If you gave it to any of us, your family lives. <laughs> That's a tough question. One shot, game's on the line. We won't go life is on the line like they did, but who are you Who are you picking to knock down the three? Oh, they talked about him taking Larry, ah. uh, Larry Bird. I've seen it happen too many times to think it's coincidence. Yeah. And, you know, Dennis was talking about Larry not getting open. That could not be farther from what would happen. Larry had an unbelievable ability to make big shots, first of all. He's 6'9 and unbelievably strong, so he could shoot that ball turning any sideways. He just, he, it was a flick of the wrist for him. Plus, he had an unbelievable basketball IQ. The harder you chase him, the more he used that to his advantage. He'd stop and go, give you a little shove. He got open as well as anybody could get open. Now, he didn't get open in today's way of just sprinting around. He got open with stop and start and stop and start. So, believe me, he would have got the ball. I've seen him make a ton of shots, and I tell you, I, I, I've often said this. Had Larry actually started taking 200 threes a day in practice like they do now, I have no idea what he would shoot. Larry shot 5'10", 15 threes at the end of practice. It's all, it's all anybody shot back then. Because, you know, Mike, yeah. the three wasn't a big part of it. Uh. These guys today shoot 200, 250, 300 threes after practice just working on that shot. Yeah, like so. imagine if he had been doing that oh all gosh, of that time. Yes. You, right. Goodness. Uh, you know, having coached uh, three different organizations, uh, my best three-point shooters going back, Mark Price, mm -hmm. Mike Miller, Wesley Person, that played for me. Uh, when you look at the top ones, Larry was definitely in there, along with Reggie Miller, along with Ray Allen, and you have to put Steph Curry in there. Oh, yeah. I mean, those are, to me, your top ones. All right. Well, after the break, game time is going to continue with a look ahead to Tuesday night and uh, players only. Baby, as we just showed you, Dennis Scott got to pay tribute. Jimmy Butler and the Sixers are hosting the, his former Timberwolves team, and we're going to be right back. Some folks say less is more. Nope, more is more. Buy a new phone from Straight Talk Wireless 